What's up, guys? All right, so I have an update to this uh, windshield washer fluid nozzle issue. So first off, um, where the nozzle is in here, it's almost like impossible to get a good view. I actually use my phone and use the camera on the phone to kind of see what's going on. But ultimately, I looked up online in the forums, and to pop these out is could not be easier. There's a literally a little shelf right here. And you just push that with anything, and it pops out. So now I can actually see in it. And to me, it looks pretty clean. Let me see if I can give you a better shot here because I've tried to adjust it and just had, oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm not looking at my phone, which I'm filming with. So yeah, I mean, it's clean. It's obviously a brand new truck, not to say it couldn't get dirty, but I just, there's no way to adjust it. I'm going to get a, a little needle and try to get in there and clean it some more, but I just don't know. I don't know what the heck is going on here. It's just, it's super annoying because this is my second attempt at uh, either adjusting this so that it is, you know, not hitting the top of the hood or cleaning it so that, um, you know, it's a non-issue. Now, you know, I, I thought maybe something inside the hose is dirty, but even if it wasn't going through the hose, it would just be less pressure. The fact that it's literally hitting the top of the hood, it's just angled wrong. And it's either angled wrong from factory and I just never knew that or something hit this, you know, during the winter, maybe some ice or something hit this and I just can't adjust it again, or it's dirty, you know what I mean? There, there's not that many options as to, you know, how to uh, fix this issue. Now, worst case scenario, if I really can't figure it out, I'm sure the dealership can just, I mean, literally the hose is right there, you just popped a new piece on. I can't imagine this being that expensive. I mean, I wanna say it looks like it's a dollar fifty piece, which means for, you know, a vehicle, maybe that's 15, 20, 30 dollars or whatever. But, you know, worst case scenario, I'll, I'll try to buy a new one and just put it on myself. I'm not going to pay, you know, a mechanic to do that. All right. So I'm going to give it a go here. Don't mind the dusty dash. Um, springtime is right around the corner. So it's going to get a big old cleaning soon. Anyway, here we go. Nope. Did not fix the issue. What the heck? Again, I mean, I have 13,800 miles on this vehicle, so it's not like it's just worn out. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's bowing me out. You can see how half of it's coming out the bottom. It's just going straight down, and then the other half is, some of us make it to the window, but not much. All right, just for comparison, here's the driver's side. You can see it's all going on the window. It's not going below it or above it. All right, let me zoom out a little here for you. Yeah, awesome spray there. Not awesome spray there. So yeah, that sucks. Also, I do need uh, windshield wiper blades. Um, it's been almost a year and the ice was pretty rough on these. It must be extra soft rubber or something. So there are a couple cracks here and there. So there it is one last time. Totally bummed, but We'll see, like I said, I mean, one option is just buying the part and putting it on myself, but you know, this truck's obviously still new. I'm under warranty. I'm curious to see if that's something they would cover. I don't see why not, but you never know. You know, dealerships wanna make money and they don't want their guys doing stuff for free. So I may just wait and see, um, depending on how expensive the part is, I might just buy one anyway, uh, in case they wanna charge to do it and it's not covered under warranty, but I'll keep you guys posted, but I'm not gonna do anything until my next uh, checkup which again is not too far from now, maybe, I don't know, maybe a month or two, who knows. But whenever this does get uh, looked at from the dealer, I'll give you an update, I'll let you guys know if it was covered under the uh, warranty, what the issue is, if they just popped a new one in, or if they wanted to charge me, in which case I'll probably, you know, do it myself here at home, so. Anyway, that's all, just a quick update. Again, I appreciate everyone suggesting things, but now you see the exact situation. I cannot adjust it, it's not adjustable up and down, and I cannot clean it better than I've cleaned it at this point so two times at cleaning this thing with a little metal needle getting in there all the nozzle so there's nothing blocking that nozzle head i have no idea why it's like that so who knows anyway that's all hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video take care